Good morning, mamas. <laughs> How are you? Happy Thursday. So, I've been a little MIA, sick as a freaking dog. I was so sick. Oh my god, I can't even tell you. And then I got Kiri sick, and then I got Zeus sick. So, uh, my sickness spread pretty quickly. Uh, today we're going to talk about cold season for babies and toddlers and obviously for us. So I just want to say that being sick with kids is horrible. It's horrible. I don't know what's worse, them being sick or us being sick while they're sick um, or just us being sick in general. I, um, I can only attribute it to the Vicks commercial where they show like the baby smiling and happy or whatever or crying and and the dad opens the door and it's and he's like uh, you know sick as a dog sneezing coughing and it's like dads don't have sick days or something like that or moms don't have sick days and it's like oh Vicks you know <laughs> that's how I feel like it's like oh my god and then I I don't know if some of you know like as the the babies get older and they start you know getting towards their first year and then a little bit after their first year when they're sick they like don't act sick like they're they're buggers coming everywhere they're coughing and they're as happy as can be they're like jumping up and down running all over the place they want to play and I'm sitting there and I am so sick and all I want to do is just lay, <laughs> lay down and go to sleep and I'm like how is it humanly possible that a child is so happy being sick and me as a grown as adult is freaking miserable I'm just miserable <laughs> I'm like please stop jumping please stop playing I'm so sick I don't know what to do so anyway I just I feel for all of you that if you get sick and your kids are sick I I know how you feel I remember when Kiri was a toddler and I was like so sick and this kid just would not go uh, go to sleep when he was a baby and now that he's a toddler it's a little bit easier obviously you can have them watch TV or they can lay next to you and you can still kind of like nod off but when they're babies you can't like nod off and they certainly don't go to sleep when you uh, want them to and they definitely don't watch TV so when you're sick it's just so freaking miserable so any of the anyway um, for those of you that don't know me I'm Danielle Cotis I'm your new mom coach and I coach new and expecting mothers uh, and toddler moms how to make the transition into motherhood so let's talk about what you can do to either help prevent the colds or help with fevers or help with colds uh, with your babies and toddlers and yourself so normally I'm able to catch myself from getting sick pretty early on however I thought I had allergies and then it turned into a cold so anyway um, part of what I do is when I get sick is that there um, are some tips and tricks that I use to help myself from getting um, sick longer than one or two days uh, so a couple things I use is a lot of vitamin C like 2,000 milligrams a day um, I use echinacea um, you can uh, it depends on how many milligrams they have on there and it depends on the doses but some of them you can take it like I don't know three or four times a day uh, to help so that echinacea helps with your immune system I also take this really disgusting stuff called black seed oil it's kind of like cod liver oil it tastes terrible um, and that helps with your immune system as well and apple cider vinegar really helps um, clean out your system, antibacterial, antimicrobial, you know, all of that stuff, antiviral, um, take some of that. So I take normally like a tablespoon in the morning, tablespoon at night. Um, so that really helps kind of like flush your system out. I drink a ton of water. Uh, you need a lot of water, um, a lot of lemon and ginger tea. And I also use this um, essential oil called Thieves by Young Living. Um, and again, that's like antibacterial, antiviral, antimicrobial, like all these antiviruses, whatever. It, it works like a charm. I put it right on my spinal cord, the bottom of my feet, um, sometimes on my chest. So that really helps like knock out whatever is coming up 
in me so that I can already like stop myself from getting sick and then from getting um, my son or my husband sick. So that's um, really what you want to focus on with you, um, making sure that you're not sick because you being sick is just horrible if the baby's sick and if your whole family's sick, it's just a miserable overall experience. Um, so those are just some quick ones for me. Um, so let's move to uh, babies. So babies are really hard. Uh, when it's sick, okay, because you can't give them medication. Um, there's a lot of stuff that they can't have. Um, so it's a little difficult when your baby ends up with a cold or has a fever or anything like that. Um, one of the most important things you want to definitely do is get a humidifier. Um, you, They sell them at Walmart. They sell them at Walgreens, wherever. You always want to make sure you have a humidifier at your house. Uh, in the beginning, um, you will find mixed information about whether or not having the Vicks Vapor Rub diffusing in your room and the humidifier is good or bad um, you'll have to make that decision yourself uh, they also do sell a baby vix so that's baby safe so that um, is what i used in the beginning only because i was just so paranoid about the vix in general um, so i did use the baby vix and you can actually just place that in the humidifier and then the steam will help blow it out uh, putting the VIX on the bottom of their feet and then putting socks on them will help get rid of some of the mucus that's in there. Um, do that overnight or during nap times. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> <coughs> that will really help them to get some of this stuff out that's there. Also, the baby VIX is great on the chest or on your back just like you would as an adult. Um, but make sure you buy the baby one. Uh, if they are running a fever, uh, I use essential oils for almost everything. Um, like, you know, your, your average witch doctor here. And um, it's up to you. I would do your research. I'm not an aromatherapist or a doctor or naturopath. This is my disclaimer here. Um, but you can use some essential oils on babies who are three months or six months and beyond. You'll decide which one works for you. Just make sure it's very heavily diluted. So it's almost like one drop or half a drop to 10 milliliters of fractured coconut oil. Um, but putting it on the bottom of their feet or their spine will really help uh, diffuse the fever. It will help them their body temperature drop down um, so that they're not in severe uh, amounts of you know pain like we feel when we have a fever. So that will really help the fever drop. So if they have a fever, use the lemon uh, essential oil. It's wonderful. Uh, what else? Um, again, the black seed oil, you're going to have to do your research on that. I can't remember. I don't have my paper with me right now. Um, how old you can give the black seed oil to them. I don't know if it's a year. I don't know if it's 10 months. I forget. Um, but the black seed oil, same that I use for myself, uh, you can use for the, uh, the little older babies or toddlers. Um, t again, it tastes horrible, so they will probably not be very happy. Um, but you can just give them a, a very little bit of it, maybe like a half a teaspoon or a quarter of a teaspoon, maybe once a day. Um, again, do your research. Um, but I did talk to an acupuncturist and she said that it was safe to use. So, uh, I use that and that helps boost their immune system. Make sure they're getting their vitamins, um, especially during cold and flu season. So go out and buy your little, like, um, you know, the... Highlands or something that's like uh, homeopathic or naturopathic. Uh, make sure you're giving them their vitamins. Make sure it has, um, it says like immune boost on there. So make sure you're giving it to them pretty much daily during the cold and flu season so that their immune system is staying um, pretty much as healthy as possible. And especially give them their vitamins even when they are sick. So if you're not already giving vitamins and your baby or toddler is sick, make sure they're getting their vitamins and they're getting some extra boost about it. And make sure you check with your doctor because you may be able to increase the amount of vitamins that you're giving them um, just to help with their immune system. But I would definitely ask about how much that you can give them. Uh, <coughs> sorry, excuse me. <laughs> uh, let's see, what else did I want to tell you about the babies? Uh, so we did cover the VIX, the lemon essential oil for the um, oh, fever. Oh, the nose Frida, getting rid of the mucus. Oh, I hate that darn nose Frida, the sucky thing. It works so much better than the ball. Um, unless you're used to the ball, the nose Frida is awesome. It has a little suction thing. You stick it right up their nose and suck it out. Um, my son freaking hated it. Um, so the second that I thought that he was ready, I actually bought a neti pot. So it's like a kind of squeezy bottle and you put saline inside 
and you just stick it up their nose, squeeze it, and the boogers come right outside the other side. So it's a frigging awesome. So if your kid's getting old enough to wear like the not, not suckers, not great, like maybe nine or 10 months, and they're giving you a really hard time, um, definitely get some sort of neti pop. Uh, just double check with your doctor about how much saline is good for them. Um, and that worked perfect to get the boogers out as much as possible. I did it once in the morning, once at night. Uh, that's because all oh, my son would let me do it. Uh, but I found it much better than the nose Frida as time went on to get those boogers out as much as possible. And it helps with the post nasal drip. Not that you would know if they have that, but um, it definitely helps as much as possible. So use the saline uh, neti pot. It's great. Uh, so that you can obviously use for toddlers. Uh, as your uh, baby becomes a toddler, that's at like 12 months, 14 months, um, and beyond, I use um, Thieves essential oil for my son. Again, it's heavily diluted. Do your research on it. Um, it's by Young Living. Uh, I do use it in a rollerball, and I use it up and down his spine on the bottom of his feet to really help get the um, uh, immune system going. And again, it's antibacterial antiviral um, and I use that as a preventative measure so again if I'm sick I try to use that as often as possible to prevent it and normally it does however this time I forgot uh, so you definitely want to make sure you do that and then um, another little tidbit that you can do um, is mix uh, lemon essential oil and tea tree oil together again heavily diluted with a uh, fractured coconut and you can rub that on their chest and the back of their spine that helps um, with the mucus and it also helps like I told you before with the fever so um, that is definitely essential that you want to do so you have the Vicks on the feet humidifiers the thieves, the lemon essential oils, vitamins. Um, basically, all they can get is like homeopathic cold tablets, um, you know, the homeopathic, um, whatchamacallits, the cold medicine. That's really all they can get until like four years old. Uh, sometimes your doctor will be able to prescribe you um, Sudafed, like if the cough is really bad or. Um, you know, they're really having a hard time getting, um, stopping coughing and stuff like that. They can prescribe them Sudafed. Um, and then obviously sometimes they will prescribe them antibiotics. Uh, again, you want to make sure that you're checking with your doctor when they have a little cold. Um, but nine times out of 10, when they have a cold, there's nothing they can do for them. And they just say you have to ride it out. So those are just some of the tips and tricks you can use. Um, I also give Kiri, um, chicken soup chicken soup is perfect it's shown scientifically that it helps to reduce cold symptoms and helps your immune system so make that chicken soup feed it to them uh, it helps so much with the mucus production helps you know help breaks fevers things like that uh, so give chicken soup and tea um, you can give chamomile tea to I, I'm pretty sure I gave chamomile tea to Kiri when he was an infant so um, little bits of it at a time uh, worked perfectly. I mean, uh, don't give them any honey before one. After that, you can obviously give them teaspoons of honey. You can give them honey in their tea, lemon in their tea. Um, as some of you saw on my Instagram, we have tea time now when we're sick. So, uh, Kiri loves tea. So you want to do either like a lemon ginger type one, or you want to do, um, chamomile. I, I always stay with chamomile as best I can because that's the best for them. Uh, so you can give a little bit as an infant. Make sure they're staying as hydrated as possible. Lots of water, um, lots of tea if you can give it to them. Um, if you need Pedialyte, go get go go out and get Pedialyte. Some kids don't want to eat when they're sick. They don't want to um, drink a lot. Sometimes Pedialyte tastes really good to them. You can make those Pedialyte pops, or you can make um, chamomile ice pops. That that will help a lot too um, to reduce some of the fever. Um, and get some of that um, nutrients into them and some of that hydration. So do that. The chamomile pops, the pita light pops are great. And let's see if I can remember anything else that I do with Kiri to help. Um, oh, make sure that they're sitting upright in the bed. So if they're, excuse me, if they are in a crib or a bassinet, you want to make sure that they're kind of on an angle while they're sleeping. So uh, obviously you can't have them 
uh, on pillows for quite some time. So what you can do is under the crib mattress is you can like fold the towel and put it under the crib mattress, which will kind of like lift it up a little bit. Um, if you have a really flat pillow, you can put it underneath the mattress and that will um, lift it up a little bit uh, to give them kind of like a, you know, a sit up so that they're not the post nasal drip or the coughing everything's not getting stuck that they're upright and then they can sleep a little bit better throughout the night because you'll notice that they um, have trouble sleeping so you always want to make sure that they're up a little bit that will help them sleep a little bit better um, rest as much as possible both you and the baby uh, you want to make sure that you're airing out your house um, we want to make sure that we're getting rid of all the bacteria that's inside of the house so if that means you got to air it out for maybe half an hour an hour during the day open the windows get that fresh air in there I also use uh, sage you can buy sage incense or you can actually get the stick of sage um, that has a lot of antibacterial antiviral properties so you can just sage your house in there there's also an essential oil called um, purification from young living that's great in the same sense as that is getting rid of all of those bacteria in the house and you just can stick that in a diffuser and let it diffuse for a little while and that will really get rid of some of the bacteria in the house so that's not constantly you know um, in there uh, make sure you're changing their sheets um, and that you're giving them baths baths are a big thing um, you'll see in the bath the boogers will just like <laughs> drone out um, a lot of times I'll put Kiri in an Epsom salt bath I'll throw a little bit of Epsom salts in there make sure it does not get in their eyes so if you um, want to wash their hair beforehand um, and the and or um, you know, uh, wash their face beforehand and then put the uh, Epsom salts in there, that's fine. Just make sure it's not going into their eyes. And you can even drop a little bit of essential oils of um, lemon in there. Again, that will help with the um, uh, fever. Or you can do tea tree, which will help with the um, mucus production and it will help um, deplete some of that mucus. So I hope this, guys, I hope it helps you so much. I know it's really hard when everyone's sick and it's it's really disheartening during the cold and flu season. Um, but these are just some tics, tips and tricks that I use, my clients use, my friends use, and um, they really seem to work and it helps to um, keep the colds down to a minimum or at least keep them somewhat comfortable during cold and flu season. Again, always check with your doctor. Um, always make sure that you're asking around, you're doing your research. And um, until next time, ladies, please like my Facebook fan page if you don't already, The Unfamiliar Mom. Um, please join us in the New Mom Sisterhood. Um, Facebook private Facebook group where we get some more tips and tricks and we have a more of a community and a tribe It's on my fan page or you can look it up in the groups. It's called the new mom sisterhood uh, Also like me on Instagram so you can see behind the uh, scenes the unfamiliar mom and Until next week. Thank you ladies so much for being on the line with me uh, Thank you for <laughs> bearing with me while I was sick and not being here for you guys and um, Enjoy your day. Love you guys so much